Hello and welcome. Peter B. Sims here. Thank you so much for checking in. I wanted to bring you some important news. I just found this in the homehealthcarenews.com article. No strings attached. CMS sending $30 billion to home health agencies and other medical providers. The government recently passed an act called the CARES Act worth $100 billion. This is the first tranche of $30 billion in grants. Again, this is grants. These aren't loans going directly to providers, home health, as well as hospitals, physicians, et cetera, et cetera, to help fund operations so patients continue to have access to health care during this pandemic. I'll include this link with this video. And I want to read a couple things really quick from hss.gov site about the CARES Act. President Trump is providing support to healthcare providers fighting the pandemic. On the 27th of March, the president signed the bipartisan CARES Act that provides, as I stated earlier, $100 billion in relief funds to hospitals and other healthcare providers on the front lines to this pandemic. This funding will be used to support healthcare-related expenses or losses attributed to the pandemic and to ensure uninsured Americans can get testing and treatment. This article talks about who is eligible for the initial $30 billion, how are the payment distributions determined, so there's a formula for that, what to do if you are an eligible provider, answers those questions. Is this different than CMS's accelerated and advanced payment program? It describes um, and states that it is. That payment program was loans. This CARES Act, this 30 billion and additional 70 billion coming in the future are grants. You do not have to pay it back. However, you do have to sign the relief fund payment terms and conditions. So all owners, and all people who are going to be receiving this funds must read through this terms and conditions document and sign off and agree on the terms and conditions for receiving these funds. I will include a copy of this also, the terms and conditions, under this video. Priorities for the remaining $70 billion. Let me read this. The administration is working rapidly on targeting distributions that will focus on providers in areas particularly impacted by the COVID-19 outbreak. Rural providers, providers of services with lower shares of Medicare reimbursement, or who predominantly serve Medicaid population, and providers requesting reimbursement for the treatment of uninsured Americans. The final section is ensuring Americans are not surprised by bills for COVID-19 medical expenses. It goes into details about medical expenses and not having surprises. The administration has also secured commitments from private insurers, Humana, Cigna, United Health Group, and Blue Cross Blue Shield to waive cost-sharing payments for treatment related to COVID-19 for its plan members. So I'll also leave a link uh, in the description with this article. Hope you're doing well. This is great news for the healthcare industry. Uh, me being a physical therapist, also reporting um, and working on specific projects related to entrepreneurialism um, and, and other areas of healthcare. I think this is a needed bill. I'm so happy that they acted. I'm glad the funds are, are out there uh, starting today um, and will continue to, to be sent out because this industry really needs money. So the faster they can get money um, and pay people's wage and buy PPE and things of, of that nature, the better our economy will be, the better patients will be, and the safer we'll all be. And the sooner we can get through this, this crisis. So thank you so much for your time. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, link up with me. Send me an email. Subscribe. Like if you enjoyed this. Um, and take care. Peace.